about today's tutorial because I'm going to show you guys how I've been creating some beautiful socks with sublimation. I'll have everything you need in the description box below. If you enjoy my video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and share with your friends. All right, guys, to begin this project, we're going to do our design in Canva. So that would be canva.com. And once you're on the website, you'll go ahead and sign in and select U.S. Letter Document. Now, this part of the tutorial is very similar to um, the how to design your notebook cover in Canva. We're basically going to upload some things. Um, right now I'm going to upload the background that I want to use and I'm actually super proud of myself because I created this background myself from scratch. I use GIMP which is a free version of Photoshop because you know you guys I have to try out the free version before I buy anything. So I'm using it's like a free version of Photoshop. It's like kind of I'm not going to say hard but I'm still learning it. So um, once I learn it, of course, you guys know, I'll go ahead and teach it to you. But for right now, we're just going to go ahead and stick with Canva because that's super user friendly and GIMP is not so much. So this is the background that I'm going to be using. It's like a galaxy thing um, and I will have that available for purchase if you guys would like to use it too. And then the image I'm going to use is going to be the Shiro from Coco Twins. And of course, the link for that will be in the description box. So this is me just searching for my images because I have a million of them uploaded in Canva. And um, you guys, I'm still learning sublimation myself. Um, I've only been doing this for like a week, but I've just been like basically subbing everything. I love sublimation. It's like once you do sublimation, working with vinyl seems so ghetto. You know, like I seriously haven't even cut on my Cricut since I've gotten my heat press in my printer. But now that we have our background uploaded, we're just going to go ahead and position it to the back. And our um, girl is going to be up front. And that is so cute. I just love that would be a super cute notebook cover. And so then we're going to go over here to elements and I'm going to look, I typed in rectangle, but all they gave me were squares, which is fine. So you basically need a shape. So go ahead and grab your square and we're going to use this as a template, right? So we're using eight and a half by 11 size paper. We eight and a half by 11 size ASA paper for sublimation. So I'm just going to make the length of my box the um, 11 inches and then I'm going to bring the width in until it's about 4.3 and you see once I move this line that little black box um, right there pops up that tells me the size of my box so that's basically your measurements so I got it at 4.3 which is fine and then I'm just going to size our girl to fit inside that box. And if that's base, that box is basically, we're going to pretend that's our socks, our sock. So anything inside that box is what, the, is what our sock is going to look like. So you'll just position that how you want it. And that's basically it as far as the designing part. Um, just, you know, play around the position, play around with your images. Now, right here, I couldn't decide, like, you know, I really love the way the girl in the pink looks, but then, um, there's also a couple other different versions of the girl that you get when you purchase this file from Coco Twins. So I really didn't know which one is cuter, so I just went ahead and did both because I'm super indecisive like that. So I'm still trying to play around with the measurements a little bit here. And um, once you get it how you want, just go ahead and duplicate it and move it over to the other side. So you can fit two images on one eight and a half by 11 paper. So to do the front and back of a sock, you'll need to make two copies. So you'll have four images all together and that'll complete one pair of socks. And now right here, like I said previously, I couldn't decide which, um, which image I wanted to use. So I'm just going to go with both. 
see the blue and white one is like just as cute as the pink one so i'm just going to do the same thing i did with the pink one just size her to fit inside that box and very 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 important please remember this because i almost forgot before you save this image you're going to want to flip it okay because when you're doing sublimation you need to reverse everything and so don't forget to flip your image and then delete those boxes that we used as a guideline because we don't want those on our socks so right here i'm just going to uh, i'm deleting the boxes which will just leave me with the girls in the background and i'm going to go ahead and flip That is so cute. I love that. And when we get ready to save, you'll go ahead and save it as a PNG. It, uh, it defaults to PDF. I haven't tried printing it as a PDF, but I just go straight to PNG. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and give this file a name so it'll be easy for me to find. And that's it. As far as the designing part, designing it in Canva. Hit download, go to PNG, and hit download again. Then we go ahead and exit out of that, and then you can go ahead to your downloaded files folder, open it, and we'll go ahead and print. But there's a few things we need to check in our settings before we can go ahead and print this picture. So I'll hit print. That is so cute. I love it. And I have it to my Epson Workforce 7710. Um, you see I have my paper type to premium paper presentation paper mat. I'll go to more settings. So you see it's premium pe presentation paper mat. Um, and the output quality you want to put high. And I have my borderless printing on. I'll hit OK. Go up and make two copies. And then we hit print. And that'll be it as far as the design portion. Then we'll go ahead and move on to the pressing part. And this is what it looks like once you print. Now for the socks, I'm using a cardboard in between the socks because you want to get the full front of the socks, right? And to create the little cardboard, I just basically took, um, cut off some board from a, a box I had around the house. And I just measured the sock, but I made it a little bit wider than the sock, right? Because you want it to basically be like a fake foot. Because, you know, when you put your foot in the sock, it stretches it out a little bit. So that's what the cardboard is for. And we're only going to be pressing this ribbed part right here. So that's the only part I'm putting the cardboard in. And you want it to be stretched a little bit all the way to the top, just like that. And these are called sock jigs. You can buy them, but they're $24. And you know, <laughs> why buy for $24 when I can make one for free? Okay. So, and as you saw, I used the lint roller and went over my socks. Before you do any sublimation project, lint roll your project, okay? Get a lint roller from Dollar Tree. That's what I did. And now I'm just laying my sock onto my paper that I did cut. I did that part off camera. Um, you're just going to lay it over there and you see how the paper is bigger than the socks. That's great. That's how you want it, okay? You want that over the edge printing. And I'm just going to take some heat tape and make sure that um, I'm going to tape the paper to the sock because sometimes when you press things, it shifts and I don't want this to shift. So I'm just applying my heat tape. I have my image on there pretty centered and my heat press is set at 
at 400 degrees and I'm going to press for um, 60 seconds. So you take your butcher paper, very important. I'm sorry, I almost forgot that step. Butcher paper, you cover the bottom plate and you'll cover the front plate. And then I'll go ahead and just press it. Uh, pre like medium heavy pressure and then um, lift the press and here's the big reveal look at that oh my gosh that is so cute I love that that is so cute that is so cute okay so now that we nailed the first side we're going to go ahead and move on to the back side and right here I'm just like shifting the edge of the sock a little bit for the back you want some of the um printed front to show on the back right here and that's going to prevent a white line like a blank white line being on the edge when you put the sock on I'm um, I hope I explained that correctly I hope you guys know what I mean but this is gonna it, uh, make it seem seamless you know you won't be able to see any kind of connection or you know any discontinuance in the pattern so we'll basically do the same thing for the back that we did the front I didn't use the heat tape at this part um, just because I've been doing this a few times and I got it pretty down packed but I do suggest heat tape so your image doesn't shift right and then every project you do with, with sublimation you cover with butcher paper do not use Teflon paper for sublimation butcher paper okay or copy paper but you will basically need a new sheet every time because the image can transfer on to something else but since this is um, basically the same project I really I did reuse this butcher paper or whatever because I didn't mind if it transferred but this is what I mean when I say you want to rotate it so it's like seamless you don't see a white if you don't rotate it on the edge right there you'll see a white line which is really ugly but this is our sock like look look, look how vibrant that is how seamless it is I absolutely love this project you guys it's pretty easy um yeah and it's a great um beginner project so as always guys thanks for watching don't forget to like share and subscribe